Well hello again everybody and welcome back and the pin makers of the world unite we have lock number one uh, I'm still awaiting the pins from America because they're held up in customs at the moment but we've got plenty anyway so I thought I'd make up one lock before they turn up and I just thought I'd show you the sort of things we've got so if we look through here uh, We'll start at the bottom here in number one. So we have a key pin made by Gear Anderson from Norway. We then have a nice heavily serrated pin from Pickbeard in the UK. T pin with a serration in number three from Dr. V in Scotland. Then we have sort of a spoolish key pin from Leon's lock pad in four we've got a stock pin in five which is already tapered on the top uh, basically because it's so short most of the other pins wouldn't go in there so we'll stick with that for now we have in number six from Pickbeard again another key pin which is serrated and a T pin in number seven from the flying locksmith and then on the driver pins we have a nice pin in pin from super llama super llama challenge locks in canada followed by a nice serrated spooly type pin from mechanic dan in australia we then have a pin in pin very nice one with a serrated on the bottom end serrations on the sleeve and that's from uh, monkey lock picks in Italy we then have another very nice pin in pin which is sort of a spooly one with a serration in the bottom part there and that's from West Coast picks in Canada we then have a pin that Andy H97 made and these were specially made for me and they're actually designed around my initials. We have a nice little very skinny pin in pin from Boris in Israel and finally in this one we've got Lock Noob's Shroom Boom in number seven. So we'll see how that works out. I've also mixed it up a little bit with some springs. We've got four standard springs. We've got two those are steel springs, we've got two lighter copper springs and we've got one very heavy uh, steel spring there so that's what we've got going into lock one uh, as soon as the other pins turn up I shall start making some more and probably show a few more of the pins off as we go along and with it being Easter this weekend, four days off, hopefully I should get the boxes sorted out and then we can start sending them out. But in the meantime what I'll do, I'll get this assembled, make sure it's going to work okay and we might even give it a go trying to pick it on camera, whether I will or not is a different matter. So we'll give it a go, I'll get it back together and I'll be back in a few minutes. Right, so it's been a little bit longer than a couple of minutes, uh, and it's all together. It's a little bit awkward getting the key in because of that strong spring, but it does all go in and does work nicely. I have had a quick go with this, managed to get an open once after about. 15 minutes but we'll give it a go and have another try see if we can get it on camera I won't be gutting this at the end because you've already seen what's inside it the other thing I didn't show I don't think was I've actually threaded a few of the chambers so we are all locked up and let's start at the back So that was seven, we got a little click and a very slight movement on the core. Little click on six. 
two little clicks on five. Four, we've got a couple of clicks. Three, we've got a click and a bit more movement on the core. Nothing on one or two. Seven, we're getting a little bit of counter rotation, and we've got that little click. Nothing on six, five, tiny little click on four. Nothing on three, tiny little click on six. Nothing on one. Right, seven. Six, five, we got a click. Right, a bit of counter rotation, a click on three. Nothing on two. It's a little bit awkward getting onto it right at the front. Let's try off this ledge with this pick. Nope, nothing on one. Right, that was seven. We've got another click. Start to give me counter rotation locked up, but we've dropped some others. I could hear the pins drop. No, right, that was seven. We got a click, six, we got a click, five, we got a click, four. We've got a couple, two, and we've got a slightly deeper full set, and nothing on one. Seven counter rotation, and we've dropped some other stuff again. That was four. Three and we got the full set back again, or some of it. Nothing else at the front. Seven, six, five. We got a nice click. And again, two clicks, both the counter rotation. Nothing on four. Right, a little bit of counter rotation on three and a little click. Let's just check one off this ledge again. Still nothing. Right, a little click on seven. And another one which gave us a fraction more movement on the core. Nothing on six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and we've got 
a slightly deeper full set and one and we've got quite a nice deep full set now click on seven click on six five deep full set. Let's check this one again. It's definitely giving counter rotation. Seven, six, five, four, three, see if anything else is doing anything. One is definitely giving us counter rotation. But I'm not sure if I trust it or not. There's always a chance it could be the key pin giving us counter rotation and that is already picked. actually got something on that. We've got a very deep full set. So we're either hung up on a T-pin. Or possibly a pin in pin. Tension, give it a quick. Right, this one is the only thing giving us any counter rotation. And it's taken us all the way back. Just move this a fraction. You got to click out of it that time and we're open cool so as I said I won't be gutting this one but 11 minutes but we did get it open it is doable so 
that is lock number one for the pin makers of the world unite so i hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye